Alexa, desk on.
Hi guys, it is the month of March. It is currently March 1st, 2024. Can you believe we are three months into our new year? But um, today's video is going to be about my monthly planning. I'm going to do my March calendar with you all today. I, something I've been wanting to film with, with you all. So today was the perfect day for me to jump on and get that done. So I'm going to go ahead on and get myself set up. I did a, a read with me video last night. If you want to check that one out. But as far as this one goes, my planning system is basically the same. I always plan out my um you do my calendars pretty much the same every time and you can see these are from 2023 some months are better than others with me keeping up with my planning i have um some sometimes i'll add for the week this is how i do my month this is how i do my weeks i highlight my weekend days in pink and my weekdays in blue and sometimes i'll add lists to the bottom of like shopping grocery list for the week i'll tag what i may need as far as shopping for the week to walk to the bottom so we are going to get into planning for the month of march and the way I start off my calendar, which is, I had a calendar. The way I start off my calendar is I'll go either two to three squares over, whichever one is feasible, whichever one looks right for me. And I'll count like five squares down, one, two, three, four, five. On that fifth line here is where I write my days of the week in. I put the month here at the top and this is a square journal. I don't know if I mentioned that. And then each one of my boxes are three squares wide and three squares down. And the whole calendar month is one, two, three, four, five squares down. So if you want to follow this system, you're more than welcome to do so. I hope you enjoy this video and let's get started
Okay, so, so far the calendar sketch is complete. I have the, I have seven days across and five rows down. So now I will go ahead and fill in the dates, starting with today is Friday the 1st. And how many days do we have in March? Alexa, how many days are in this month? March is 31 days. Okay, so I will start with today being Friday the 1st and add my days all the way until the 31st. Put my days at, up top and my month up top. So I will get started on that part. Okay, so I have sketched in the the days of the number days of the week. The only thing I may switch around is how I have the twenty fourth here and the thirty first. I may put the thirty first to the back and the twenty fourth to the front. But other than that, I'm going to go ahead on and get the month written at the top, and then we will start on the days, the the weekly planner.
Okay, so you see the basic setup of my weekly sketch and I have my seven day weeks sketched out. I went ahead and did a full spread here because this one, this first page is going to start, March 1st is going to start down here, which is Friday, March 1st. These few, the first five boxes are going to be a continuation of February. Normally, I'll have my planner done before the month comes in and I'll, I can overlap each month as like when one month is ending and the other month is beginning, I can kind of fill in both sections. But I'm going to go ahead on and fill in my February month here and start my march on friday and saturday down here and i will finish sketching out my weeks i won't bore you with the rest of me sketching out the weeks once all of that is done i will come back and show you the completed process okay guys i am back and for the first week i have filled in all of the dates for the week the rest of the month, I have added all of the days, but I have not added the dates. So I'm going to go ahead on and add the dates to the weeks. And I'm also going to switch pens because my Muji seems like it's, it's wanting to give out on me. The ink is kind of low, so it's starting to skip. And I don't feel like pulling out a refill. So I'm going to go ahead on and switch my pen and begin filling in the dates. So now that all of my dates are filled in, I can begin the highlighting. Now we'll start with my main two highlighters. I use my pink for my weekends and my blue for my weekdays. Okay guys, so this is my basic planner setup. I normally include a quote here. Let me see if I can find one of my old quotes. Okay, so I have one of my old setups here and I always have like two tech quotes. Quotes, um, highlights of my day, what I ate today, that's examples of what I use the rest of the paper on, um, what I have learned so far. So sometimes I'll include um, a page of what I have learned and 
try to write down something that I have learned every day, something new that I've learned every day. I don't always do all of my systems the same. It's just however I'm feeling at the, the moment. This is what it looks like with a week, with my weeks filled in. And I always like including quotes on my months. So this is an example of what the planner looks like when it is finished for the month. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if this is something you decide to do as well, let me know in the comments. And if you do it, um, take a picture and put it on your Instagram, just tag me in the picture so I can see how you're doing your planner. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and until next time, thank you so much for watching.